new project came in yesterday uh, it's a uh, legend of on a bike it's a uh, RC45 the old uh, racing bike they made only 500 of these this is uh, number 343 uh, she has some issues she won't start right and uh, has been very yeah, she's been in storage for I think 10 years or so. Only started uh, occasionally. Not driven for long. Um, so my suspicion is um, spark plugs, fold spark plugs or something like that. I don't think it's any majors because she's, she's not used at all. It's a beautiful bike so I'm gonna take you with me uh, on this uh, uh, job. We will start by finding out what's wrong with it, and then we will correct the issue and uh, hopefully have uh, some really nice sounds in here. This engine makes very, very nice exhaust sounds. It's a V4 750. Um, it's a beautiful engine, it's a race engine. It has uh, some of the earlier uh, fuel injection systems. So it's a bit harsh. It's the, I think they overfueled a little bit in the cold start and stuff like that. So that's why my suspicions runs to the spark plugs. If you do that several times without uh, putting it through the spaces, I think you get fold plugs. Um, yeah, but the bike is it's it's just a piece of kit. You, you you see when you look at this bike, you see that it has a purpose. It's purpose built. Um and it's racing all the way through. Um titanium rods from factory. A lot of cool uh stuff and a whole bunch of uh energy is put in this bike when it was new. It was super expensive when it was new, and uh, it still is super expensive. So we're gonna treat her good. So I'll um, I'll uh, try to start her, and you'll see how it, she behaves when we try to start her up. Yep. A little close up. Such a beautiful bike, and she comes with the the factory stand. I think all of these came with the factory stand. I put some put some lining on it as well, just to make sure that she doesn't fall off when I start tearing it all down. Nice exhaust system. Beautiful. Fits the bike perfectly. And the condition of the bike is absolutely mint. view of the office really cool so now I'm just gonna try to start her up and you guys will see what the issue is well I'm gonna try to start her up and then we'll see shock fully out As you can hear, she's not that happy. So, she spits and puffs in the exhaust. I think it's a lot of unburned fuel. Smells a little bit unburned fuel as well. So, we'll start with the spark plugs.
Here you can see the plugs. I got them lined up. One from cylinder number one, number two, number three, and number four. And um, yeah, they are all quite black and they are all the same. There is one that is a little bit brighter and that's the number two cylinder. Maybe that's the only only cylinder that's fired tried to fire it up. I don't know. But it's it has this black gunk to it. And um, the front cylinders, the front plugs on the front cylinders were almost not tightened at all. They were quite loose actually. So look at that. They're really, really sooty. So I don't know what happens there, but I'm gonna go through and maybe look at the the choke system. I think it's uh, giving a, a way too much fuel. I'm gonna go over all the vacuum lines to make sure that there's no vacuum lines that is broken. Um, this engine has uh, two MAP sensors, that's manifold air pressure sensors. I don't know why it's two of them, but I'm gonna make sure that the, the wires and the, and the lines, the vacuum lines for those are in perfect condition. And I'm gonna fit a set of new plugs. I think it's uh, about time. So even though it's running only 18,000 kilometers, this bike since 1994, uh, I think uh, this one is uh, way too sooty and uh, probably been uh, started and stopped cold and with choke many times and uh, they seem to be totally fouled. So we'll replace them and carry on. And um, it's not so easy to test this bike without fitting the tank back on. You have the high pressure pump in the tank and you need to fit the banjo fitting and the return line um, to the bike. I don't plan to do any more of these since this is quite a rare bike. It's no, no point in making a jig or uh, some special connections to make it happen. So I'll, um, I'll take out the injectors just to make sure and I'll flow test them while we're up there and um, uh, make sure that uh, they flow the correct amount of fuel and that they don't leak. I'm, uh, after seeing this, I'm uh, more concerned about leakage than, <laughs> than, than the flow rate being too low. So I'm going to introduce them for uh, some pressure, maybe three, four, five bars of fuel pressure and to see that they are closed when they are closed and uh, that the spray pattern is good when uh, or as it should be. So I'll uh, remove the injectors and uh, I'll take you along. Yep. I gotta show you some of these parts. They are really, really nice parts. Uh, it's a bit old style connectors. You gotta loosen this spring and to get the connector out. And you gotta be careful not losing that spring in the engine bay. Uh, Look at this top mount for the injector. It's a very, very light part. It's so nicely machined. It have double dowel pins here to make it center and line up perfectly. O-ring seal and everything. And, and you just, you know that feeling when you, that mechanical right feeling when you put something down and you just, it's just, it fits just right. So I'm gonna keep uh, pulling this off and uh, we're gonna put the injectors in the flow bench. And then we're gonna see how, uh, how they flow, how equ equally they are or unequally, depending on the state of them. And um, I'm really curious to see because it's not every day you can flow test 30 year old uh, injectors. Many times you flow test the new ones to make sure that they are batched right and everything like that. But this is something else. So, see this? The O rings are perfect. 
real nice and the machinery and the the engineering that is done on this is uh, absolutely absolutely fantastic I'm going to mark this with the right cylinder number just to make sure that they get back in the right place and uh, make it easier for myself when I do the flow testing so I don't uh, lose track of uh, which cylinder even though all of them were quite black I think it's uh, I'm quite happy it would be it would have been worse if uh, there were uh, two two cylinders that were off compared to different ones you can start uh, speculating in uh, compression and uh, more uh, more like engine issues bigger more serious engine issues this seems to be like a little bit more of a service kind of uh, repair and um, if we can uh, pull this one through and uh, flow check the injectors I'm mostly concerned about them leaking some of the old injectors when they get pressurized in this case it will be as soon as you hit the ignition they will pressurize the pump in the tank will pressurize the system and uh, if they leak they will uh, they will uh, sip uh, fuel into the inlet and uh, make all kinds of trouble they will also wash out the oil you will get a lot of fuel down the, the bottom of the engine and uh, the oil will be really really thin and uh, unable to lubricate as it should well off to the flow bench see ya so now we are all up to the injector testing fitted the injectors and now we're gonna see the spray pattern and the flow mount I'm gonna run it like this for a couple of minutes and I'll be right back to you. I'm gonna increase the pressure to around 6 bars. There you have 6 bars, 80 psi, and not a drop from the injectors. So that's, that's perfectly, that's, that's perfect result. So here is the result for running the flow tester for about 3 minutes. They are quite even, but the cylinder number 4 and number 1 is the one that has a little bit less quantity. It's not much, this is uh, way beyond the expected um, specs for uh, stock injectors. But I'm gonna make sure to put that injector and that one on the rear cylinders that are running the hardest just to make sure that we make everything as uh, clean as possible and uh, ha uh, having a happy engine for a long time now I want to show you the full flow test we're gonna run the um, injectors at 100% duty cycle for 15 seconds and this will be the maximum output uh, at wide open um, the, in the bike you will never see this 100% uh, opening time, it will be more like 80% but at this tester we can uh, simulate it and uh, fuel pressure running is 4 bars that's about 60 psi So there you have the result, 
it's quite an impressive amount of fuel coming out of these small injectors. Thinking this is uh, fitted to a 750 cubic <laughs> engine. So they are very, very equal. You see, even the foam is uh, reducing itself. Um, you see, it's almost equal at all four. So these are really good. No worries here. Um, I will dry, I will drain it and we will um, run a leak test. We will push the fuel rail pressure up to six bars and uh, we should see no fuel coming out of the injector. That will be really bad and uh, that is the reason that, that, that is the main reason why I'm doing this test is to make sure that there is no leakage under pressure. Okay, so here we are. Injectors are back in. All the O-rings are lubed up and changed. Uh, the injectors flowed very well on the flow test and uh, they performed very good. So no, um, there is no reason to suspect injectors for this uh, problem. I think the Suri spark plugs is the, is the solution to change them. Too many cold starts. Uh, if not, it's something different like coils or spark wires, but uh, don't really know before we try to fire it up. Mm, the one thing that it's a bit... Uh, 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 the fuel pump is in the gas tank and it ha connects through this banyo fitting and the return line comes out of the fuel regulator just there. So. I need the fuel tank on to test this, to see if there is any leaks. Uh, and I will do that uh, before I put all the stuff to b back together. Um, so uh, I will prepare the fuel tank and uh, I'll see you in part two. Okay. Really appreciate you guys following along. Uh, I think this... Uh, job is super interesting and uh, I'm looking really looking forward to trying to start her up and to hear what it sounds like and uh, hopefully she runs good um, you made it this far uh, I really appreciate it please uh, consider giving me a like and subscribe uh, I will do my best to make part two and the startup finished as soon as possible okay bye bye